In 90 seconds, you are going to know more about mechanical advantages. Because when we talk about lever systems, we can often construct them in a way where we don't need to put in as much effort to move more resistance or to overcome more resistance. And the way that we need to calculate if, it's, if, if something is mechanically advantaged, we need to be thinking about the effort arm and the resistance arm. Now the effort arm is the distance from where the effort is applied to the lever system and the fulcrum. So the distance between where the effort is applied, obviously we use that arrow to denote effort, and it's the distance between where that is being applied towards the fulcrum point. The resistance arm, on the other hand, is the distance from where the load is and the centre of that mass. It's the distance from the load to the fulcrum point or to the pivot point. So if we were to change up these lever systems with the effort at one end, load at the other, we could then calculate the effort arm and the resistance arm. And what we're looking for, for a mechanical advantage, is for the effort arm to be greater than the resistance arm. Okay, so if the green line is greater than the red line, then we can say that that lever system is in a mechanical, or has a mechanical advantage. Whereby, if we take this first one here, we would need, let's say, the equivalent of one force applied, but we would be able to overcome two times the size of the force that we can apply. So mechanical advantage, when the effort arm is greater than the resistance arm, less input gets more output. And that is your knowledge in 90.